Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get WooCommerce API key in 2024. So today we're exploring how to obtain a WooCommerce API key, which allows you to integrate external applications or services with your online store. Whether you're building custom plugins, syncing data, or even automating tasks, a WooCommerce API key is essential in this tutorial. So we guide you through the process of getting that. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that you'll use. Here I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to this URL section. Make sure to type as example here, WooCommerce. And hit the enter button. Make sure to click on this first link as an example, and you'll be taken to WooCommerce.com right away. If you have an account, by any chance, just go and click on login here right away to login into your account. But if you don't have an account as an example, let me just show you. So WooCommerce like.com hit the enter button, click on get started, and you'll have to go and create a new account. So example, recommended WooCommerce host. Where do you want to start with? For example, maybe about this you can click on it and start there and access wrong make sure just to go and create an account for me i'll just log in with my wordpress account of course you can use google apple or github to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account so as you can see once i do so if i go to the top right corner here and i'll click on my dashboard example here i'll find the dashboard of my woocommerce as you can see, here I'll be able to access profile, orders, my store, my subscriptions, get support, payments, and collaborators. And of course, if you created your account with a WordPress example, so as I showed you here, if you're trying to create an account, so you just go here and click on get started as example. So if you're trying to create an account, they'll give you options. For me, I choose WordPress, so I'll create my account with WordPress. So I'll just go to WordPress right away, WordPress.com, of course. I'm already logged into my account for you if you want. Make sure to go and log in into your account. If I go here to my profile example, I'll find a lot of things. Of course, if I go here to developer features, I'll not find, I guess, API. So yeah, there's no API here. So what should we do to get our API key? So, of course, for me, I'll just open my local host. Of course, it's the same as WordPress. I just have my WooCommerce plugin installed in there, not this one. To show you exactly how, what I'm talking about, for so example, here on this last panel, where is WooCommerce? I'll just need to look for it. So, plugins here. Okay, I'll just go to install plugins and look for my WooCommerce plugin installed. So, of course, I'll just look for WooCommerce. Okay, I'll need to finish it, it seems. WooCommerce, because I have a lot of plugins. So, not this one, not this one, not this one. I was uh, uh, installing something for WooCommerce. Okay, so this one. So, I'll just go here and click on settings of it. Once I click on settings, as you can see here, you'll find like information, some information is like general. Uh, if you click on products, you'll be able to find products here. As an example, you'll find shipping, payment, account privacy, a lot of things. But where do I now go? Simply on advanced here. Just go and click on advanced and once you do so if you scroll down you find page setup uh, checkouts endpoint account endpoint but what we want to do is simply go here to risk api once we go and click on that as you can see for me i still have zero api key so what i'll need to do is simply go and click on create an api key here i'll have to give it a description i'll just give it a name test and the user of course you can change it or let it as it is you can give it permission to read or write or read and write for me i'll give it all the permissions and then click on generate api key once you do so as you can see they'll give me here the consumer key and the cons uh, consumer secret and even the qr code as i want so you'll be able to copy it and use it however you want so there you have it. You successfully obtained your WooCommerce API key. With your API key, you can now integrate external applications or services with your online store, automate tasks, and streamline operations. So explore the possibilities and enhance your e-commerce experience in the dynamic landscape of 2024 and beyond. And if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. And just one more thing, make sure to do not share the, your API key with anyone. Uh, because for me, I'll just go and revoke the key, like I'm going to delete it. But for you, do not share it with anyone. 
just in case. So as you can see, I, I that's why I shared my API key here in this video. So as I said, that's going to be it for me. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more Hail 40 stories like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye and happy integrating.